find the inverse of y is equal to the cube root of x minus 1 minus 2. So, first off, an inverse, it means when we interchange x and y. So we, every time we see x, we sub in for y, and every time we see y, we sub in for x. So notice that I've done that here, replaced y with x and, and uh, x with y. And now what I want to do is solve for y to find this inverse equation. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides to get x plus 2, and now I have this uh, radical all by itself, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cube both sides, because so the cube of the cube root will cancel out, and all will be left with is y minus 1. On the left side, we have x plus 2 cubed. Now, you could expand it, but that's a, kind of tedious, and it's not really necessary, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And finally, to isolate y, we add 1 to both sides, and this is our equation. y is equal to x plus 2 all cubed plus 1. That is the inverse of our original equation. We can also look at this graphically. Take a look where we have our cube root function. That's our original function in red. Uh, we have the inverse of that, which is a cubic polynomial. You can tell by the cubed here in blue. And here is a line y equals x, because we know inverses are reflections of each other over the line y equals x. So if you take a look at the graph, for red, here's our cube, cube root function. Again, here's the line y equals x, and you can see how the blue line, this cubic polynomial, is actually a reflection across the line of y equals x. That's kind of cool.